In this video, you'll learn how to add a filter by price option using a Yith WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. Before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell for notifications so you won't miss content like this in the future. If you want to allow your customers to filter your products by price, it's important to know that our Ajax product filter plugin actually has two different kinds of filters, so we should go ahead and take a look at the front end before we start setting them up. The first one is the price slider, where your customer can set any given price range they want to. And the second one is called price range, where you can predefine ranges and allow your customers to pick, to pick from them. And as you can see, you can very well use both of them at the same time. So let's go ahead and see how they are set up. We start over at Yith and Ajax product filter. On this page, you can create your first filter preset or manage existing ones. You can think of a preset as a collection of different filters. So after this tutorial, you might come back here and add another filter like color or size, for example. We go ahead and click on create a new preset. And here we can type in a name for our preset. I'll call mine men. Now we can add our first filter by clicking on the add a new filter button. We give it a name, I'll call mine a price slider. And we select filter four, and here we again select price slider. As you can see, here are a couple of options for you to set um, the minimum and maximum values. Those should be set according to the prices in your shop. So I'll set the maximum price for mine to 150. And you can select another increment for the slider to step on. So if you want to increment on full prices from 0 to 150 in my case, you can select 1. Now you click on Save Filter, and in this example I'll add another one. Uh, you might want to skip this step if you only want to add the price slider to your site. But I'll go ahead and add the price range, and we'll filter for price range. Now here it's important that you have to set up a couple of ranges so your customers can select them uh, by selecting the add range button. And let's say we'll start from zero to 20, um, 20 to 50, 50 to 80, and the last one starts at 80. And for the last one, it's important you should uh, select the and above option. Uh, so all the prices above your minimum price for this range will be included in this one. The ranges you define are completely up to you. So if you want to select another, another range in any of these, that's totally up to you. As soon as we're done here, we click on Save Filter and then we click on Save Preset. Now, the only thing we have left to do is to display the filter on our website so our customers can actually filter the products. Let's move over to Appearance Widgets. And here you can pick the right widget from the list of available widgets. The one we are looking for is called Youth Ajax Filters Preset. Go ahead and pick the right sidebar this depends on the theme you're using. In my case, I use a Yith Proteo theme, uh, so the default sidebar is right for me. I'll click on Add Widget. And in the case you have more than one preset, you could select them. Otherwise, it's already selected for you. Now let's move over to the front end and we'll see that on here, the widget appears with all the filters we've added before. And this is how you add a filter by price option using our Yith WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. Thank you for watching and see you next time.